So at this point, I've washed the entire FJ except for the wheels and tires. You'll take note that a rinseless wash is the opposite of a tra traditional wash in the order of the way you clean things. So with a regular wash, you do the wheels and tires first because you got dirt and grime and wheel cleaner splashing up on your paint. So with a rinseless wash, you don't really have that. So what I'm going to do is um, I have our solution here pre-mixed of the graphene rinseless wash and I'm going to spray this onto the wheels and right here I have our tire and rubber rejuvenator and I'm going to spray this on the tires and then I'm going to use an old ratty wash mitt you can also use an old towel um, or you can buy a dedicated big gold sponge just for your wheels I would not use the same sponge that you use on the paint as the wheels because that's just not a good idea so take my solution here and this will help loosen the, the grip of the brake dust and road grime um, a rinseless wash is not the best method if your wheels and tires are really really dirty so mine like i said it's been about six weeks these wheels are ceramic coated they're relatively easy to clean so i sprayed the solution on there and then for the tires i've got my tire and rubber rejuvenator and I've got my low profile tire brush and spray this on And this will get my tires nice and clean so I can apply our graphene tire shine. I'm going to take my old wash mitt. And you want to have a dedicated bucket for the wheels. You don't want to use the same bucket that you use for the paint. And just use my wash mitt here. Clean this guy. This is our uh, gold Chanel wash mitt has all these alien fingers that uh, clean the face of the wheel and for a rinseless wash some guys like to get real technical and do the barrel of the wheel with a easy detail brush or the like I don't get that involved again this is a big picture wash to me a rinseless wash will never replace a traditional wash this is just something to do in between or if you're in a situation or a region where you cannot wash the vehicle. So I did that, and now I'll go over the tires. But first I want to spray more solution on to act as a, a rinse, to rinse that tire cleaner off. And I'll dunk it one more time. You can see the, the dirt and grime coming off the tire. Move this out of the way. And this is a real caveman way of doing this. There's really no glory, YouTube glory, in cleaning the wheels and tires with a rinseless wash. It's a dirty job. Someone's got to do it. So that wheel's done. And I'll take a couple all-purpose towels, older ones that I've had for a while. I'm not going to use my nice new towels for this. And I'll dry the wheels. And once again, it dries really easily. It dries really, really easily. So that's one of the many benefits of the graphene rinseless wash. Same towel, I'll quickly go over and I'll dry the tires. And you can see how great my tires look with just a quick cleaning. And boom, the wheels and tires are now clean using a rinseless wash in addition to the rest of the paint. So I'm gonna finish this process wheel by wheel and then I'm gonna put the finishing touch on by applying our graphene tire shine. Okay, so I finished washing all the wheels and tires, and at this point, I'm ready to apply our graphene tire shine. Graphene tire shine, this is an optional step with a rinseless wash. Every time I wash my vehicle, regardless of the type of wash I use, I always dress my tires. So I've cleaned these with our tire and rubber rejuvenator, now I'm gonna apply this guy. And graphene tire shine, is formulated using graphene oxide ceramic resins. It's like a ceramic SiO2 on steroids. It's a high bonding formula. It really sticks to the tire, but then again, it doesn't cause any issues down the road. It doesn't cause any kind of browning. Um, it doesn't cause the anti ozonants to leach out of the tire, and there's no petroleum in it. So it's an eco-friendly formula, and it's safe for you, and your skin, and the tire. So I spray it directly onto the applicator pad, and the reason I do that is to avoid overspray. 
I just spent a few minutes cleaning my nice glossy black and polished wheels. I don't want to get any tire shine in them, and I don't want to get any tire shine on my tire tread. So spray it on our dual action trim and tire applicator. And what I like to do is I like to divide the tire into two sections, your left and your right. And then I simply apply a nice uniform coat of the graphene tire shine. And like everything else we make, this smells fantastic. It smells really, really good. And it applies nice and evenly. It's not blotchy, it's not smeary, it's not greasy. It dries with a touch, and most importantly, it will not sling. And this is our dual action trim and tire applicator. And when I apply the tire shine, I start out on the rim of the wheel here. And you'll notice that 90 degree edge, it gets right in there so you don't apply it all over your actual wheel. Unlike a round tire applicator sponge, you get it all over your wheel and your hands. So these are fantastic. Make sure you pick up a three pack of these guys for a nice uniform application. And the sponge is soft enough, it's not too dense, it's soft enough to where when you have your, your ridges here and your peaks and valleys, you can just blot it and you'll get tire shine in there too. So really great applicator pads. And then when I do my final swipe, you have the, the siphon here on the tire, these lines, I'll go this way, just to remove any excess and spread it out. This is more applicable to truck and SUV tires and automotive uh, passenger car tires, but it's helpful either way. So I've done the left side, and now I'm gonna apply more tire shine to the right side. And it really does not take a whole lot of product. I'm not even doing full sprays when I do that. So this one bottle will last you quite a long time. Start off on the rim, and I spread out from there. And it's gonna help protect the tires from dry rotting and cracking and fading. And it'll keep them a nice dark black finish. And you can adjust the level of shine by how many coats you apply. So I stick with one coat. I'm very happy with this finish overall. If you want less of a shine, you can buff it afterwards with a microfiber towel. But for me, this is perfect. And if you want a real bling bling shine, then simply apply more. So. I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing our graphene rinseless wash for both um, the body of the vehicle, the paint, the wheels, the tires, and then the finishing touch is our graphene rinseless wash. I'm Nick Rutter from McKees 37. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Take care and God bless.